What's up you guys, Sharkness Prime here doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Spider-Man Vintage Collection Retro Card Lizard. 60 amazing years of Spider-Man Walmart exclusive. I had to get all of the title in there. This is a cool looking figure. I don't know if I'm going to like it more than my Toy Biz one. And I got to say, I do love the Lizard. One of my first Spider-Man comics that I ever picked up was Spider-Man. And I think it was number two or was it number six? I think it was number two that had the Lizard and I thought it was awesome. Anyway, uh, looking at the card, I do like it. And you can see he's got a wiggly tail and uh, you get the 60 Amazing Years sticker. And then on the back, nice image of Lizard again. And they have that blueprint image where you could swap the hands and heads. And then you get a read up over here. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. Not much more at the top or at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. But first, if you're trying to get your Marvel Legends that are not Walmart exclusives, you can do so it. Search your feelings. You know it to be true. Dorkside Toys is a store for you. Link below. <laughs> And here's the lizard out of the packaging, and I gotta say, first impressions, I'm liking it so far. There are some things here that I didn't expect to see. There's a lot of things that make me happy about this figure. There are some things that do disappoint me about this figure, though. So let's get into those things first, actually, and then we'll get a closer look at the lizard. So we're two for two this weekend on lame accessories that I got. Like, this is... Uh, I didn't like the avatar accessories, and I'm not the biggest fan of the lizard accessories. I really like the head sculpts a lot, but yeah, you get two sets of interchangeable hands. We'll get into this in just a second, but yeah, you have your Oppenheimer flask and your Oscar Mayer flask, and it, I'm a dork. I'm not a nerd, all right? That's one reason why I never liked Big Bang Theory is that there's a difference between nerds and dorks, you know? Nerd, you have to be smart. Dork, yeah, that could be anybody. But anyway, these do look pretty cool. I do like the added pink in the inside right over there. So that came out pretty good. I like the translucent plastic. I just don't really like him having these as accessories that much. Would have preferred an extra set of, you know, clawing hands. Sorry about the nasty thumbs. But yeah, you can see the yellow on the inside right there. That's not realistic. I wish they would have painted it yellow instead. Ah, these hands, man. Ugh. All right, so look. Yeah, he can crawl walls, and yeah, I guess the whole gecko feature is cool. I just need him to have clawed hands, and I'm just very frustrated that he doesn't have clawed hands. And I would be a little bit more sympathetic to it if, you know, G1 Lizard didn't have the claw hands, but he's always had the clawing, you know? That's always part of the Lizard and stuff, so I am bummed out about that. Uh, you can see some really nice paint, though, and I do like the sculpted skin texturing, so that looks really good. Like, I gotta appreciate that. Like, that really makes me happy to see some black paint mixed in there. And then you have a beaker holding hand, or an Oscar Mayer flask holding hand right over there. Again, you know, scales and paint look really good. I I'm just kind of frustrated that this is kind of like a, a major feature for him. You know, like he's running around New York City pouring these into the mouths of lizards individually. I don't know what the hell he's supposed to be doing with these when he's fighting Spider-Man, right? I don't know, and we don't have a... Like, if these came with a Doc Connors, that would make more sense. You know what I mean? But anyway, here's looking at your G1 lizard head, and I like it a lot. Nice, clean white paint apps. I love the facial expression. It immediately makes me think of the original lizard. Like, I'm just really pleased with this, and I love the paint. Look at that, man. Paint on my Toy Biz version is pretty amazing. So, yeah, I was really hoping for good paint on this figure, and I think they've delivered on the paint. I really like it. And, yeah, this looks good. I like how they've sculpted the tongue right over here. I like how it's pronged right there. It's also sculpted in a way where it's not like sticking outward too much and getting in the way of things. I have some pretty good paint on mine with the eyes. Can't really complain about that. Again, I'm pretty pleased with the paint on this figure overall. I really like both of these head sculpts. I mean, between the two of them though, I love this one way more though. You know what I mean? They're, they're both all right, but yeah, I like this one much more. Ah, uh, Hasbro, you win this round. Okay, it's pretty specific to the very first appearance of the lizard in Amazing Spider-Man number six that you don't really see him with clawed hands. They are pretty accurate to how they look over here. However, I still wish we got clawed hands that would match this head sculpt. You know, it would have been nice to still get the clawed hands with this figure. I would have preferred that over the Jesse Pinkman and the Walter Whites. <laughs> So unless I'm mistaken, I think the only thing reused on this figure is the lab coat, but not even, right? So this is all 100% new, I think. 
Yep, seems like it. Pretty certain it is. So you may have a joint here or something that could be reused, but I do really like this body mold. Now, I love the green paint on the figure itself. You can see the neck articulation right over there. Sorry for the nasty thumb, but I really like that paint and the scales and everything. It just looks really good on this figure, man. Very pleased with that. And the tattered lab coat looks really good on the cuffs and everything. So I like the buttons on there. Eh, could use some dirt and grime to it at the bottom, I guess, you know. And then the tail does come separately. I mean, it, it doesn't come included with the figure. You just got to port it on there. Ports off very easily. Uh, you could rotate it around. I'll go over the articulation in a minute, but just so you can see all the parts underneath right over there, you can see how that looks. I mean, it doesn't have a hinge in there, so I wish it had that. But yeah, this is really good looking right here with the shirt. I like all the wrinkles and everything. The legs look good with the wrinkles and all that. We get pinless joints right over here for the arms and legs. And yeah, it's tattered right here. Could use some extra paint, but if they're going to give all the paint to anything on the figure, I mean, they did it for the patas. So that's <laughs> no, just, I love that the green portions of the figure have the priority for the paint. That makes me actually really happy. I would have been bummed out if they'd given it, you know, more paint on the coat or the clothes instead of the scales. So I'm happier with the scales having the paint. And then here's looking at the tail again, paint all around just really makes everything pop and just look better so i'm pleased with that there's the peg holes at the bottom of the feet oh my god there's paint at the bottom of the toes i didn't really realize that but <laughs> as bro i think that's for me i'm gonna back three has labs right now okay so i gotta say i love the articulation on this figure you get the disc hinge with the ball joint right here for the head and it shifts forward and back and allows for him to look all the way up right there and that's just the head joint uh, the neck joint does help with that too so with everything moved up like like there yeah that looks awesome and you can get him to look down very well as well i really like that and you can have a swivel right there at the head you could have a swivel at the neck you could utilize either one and you do have some head pivoting right there i just absolutely love this articulation that just makes me happy as hell shoulders move outward they move inward rotate a full 360 i'm not feeling any yeah there's no shoulder joint or butterfly joint sorry uh you get the bicep swivel you have the pinless double joint elbows all the hands turn side to side and hinge up and down you have this great combo of the diaphragm ball joint and the abdomen crunch right there which i love this combo you could rotate right here you do have pivoting and it crunches forward a little bit and back a little bit and then you have the real crunch right there at the waist so with both of those joints you move forward that much and back that much this is pretty much the retro card spider-man articulation which uh, i prefer and i like that the lab coat you know is soft material uh getting into the tail you could rotate the tail around and you get bendy wire movement from here to about right here. So not all the way through. Playing around with this thing and thinking about how I was asking Hasbro about bendy wires and the Doc Ock tentacles, it's like, it is a thing that you have to be careful with because there is that fear of actually breaking the wire over time, you know, and then now it, and it won't function anymore. But I prefer having the bendy wire. I don't mind the little holes right there or anything. But yeah, uh, it stops, uh, you know, if I'm trying to curl it as much as I can. Yeah, that's not too bad, right? Yeah, it's not awful. I like it. I like having this tail. This is my favorite lizard tail. I love this lizard figure. What can I tell you? It's got some awesome stuff going on, man. It's really dope. Uh, you can move legs forward and back. Upper thigh cut, pinless, double jointed knees. Then you can rotate the calf side to side. Ankles do move down. They do move up, and he has beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out this lizard figure, you can see that he is standing just barely under that six and a half inch mark and getting that g1 lizard head sculpt on there and comparing it to our g1 spider-man does anybody hate it when i do that i don't think so but anyway uh seeing these two side by side looks great and i did swap the feet with the renew your vows feet right there which makes this figure a lot more fun but yeah these two both awesome figures then to compare this new lizard figure next to my other two most favorite lizards in my collection we have the toy biz marvel legends lizard and then we have the marvel select lizard i really do like all three of these i'm curious to know which one your favorite is out of the three now i do love the paint and sculpt on this the most like by far it looks all dirty and the articulation is actually really good on this thing but i am thrilled that this guy right here has all the articulation points that i wish this one had but i'm happy to see it over here you know what i mean and the tail is better like the tail just sticks straight out right there on this guy i do like the angled tail that's a lot easier to work with and everything still love this marvel select you know 
the articulation is decent, but it is a Marvel Select. They're not really focused on their articulation hardcore, it's not or not so much as like with the Marvel Legends figures. By the way, I wanted to try a little head swap action over here. I just wanted to see if maybe I could put like a Johnny Storm head on here. Or, uh, I just wanted to see what it would look like if we tried to get some Kurt Connors transforming action going on. Because unlike the other two uh, Kurt Connor or lizard figures, these guys have claws. And I wish this figure had claws and clawed feet too. So, I don't know, maybe if they made like a transitioning lizard in the future and then you could swap the parts around with this lizard. I don't know, that'd be kind of neat, no? So it doesn't feel like you're just buying the same thing twice, right? And then here's a multiple man head. If you want to see, eh, you know. So none of these really properly fit on there, but it'd be cool if they can make something work. And then here's the new lizard figure next to my least favorite lizard figure in my collection. We have the amazing Spider-Man 2 movie lizard. And then here's the new lizard figure next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Oh, look at you, all in the movies again, huh? So what do you think of your movie interpretation? Ooh, that bad, huh? <laughs> So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel by simply clicking that like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, why don't you, as well as the notification bell. The subscribe button really does help, as well as the like button. Clicking things helps the channel, man. So if you want to help the channel, click some stuff. This figure, I am very impressed by. Yeah, there are some things that I mentioned. I mean, the claws. I, I just want claws for this guy, you know? And I'm happy that it's not wrong and it's a matter of preference. So that actually ended up making me like the figure even more. You know what I mean? Like, if he didn't have the claws and he's supposed to have the claws, well, that's one thing. But if I just prefer the figure to have claws, but this design is supposed to not have claws, then I'm okay with it. Actually, I'm happier that it's a little bit more accurate than I initially assumed it was so that's actually really cool it makes me like the figure more even though it doesn't have the thing that i want is that weird for the sake of all collectors and continuity with the comics and and everything i don't know I, or, or it being uh, cohesive with the comics that's what makes me happy I, I gotta say dude i love this thing i do hope they release an updated version later on with interchangeable parts to get a transforming kurt connors i think that would be great and it would give us an opportunity to get clawed hands with this figure. I wish they just threw in the claw hands, though. Why couldn't they just do that? But anyway, still, at the price of around 30 bucks, I think that's around how much I paid for this guy, I'm going to give this lizard figure a sun rating of... I love it! And I'd like to know what you guys think. I'm sorry I rambled on so long, but let me know in the comments section below. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you want to stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on WhatNot. And I will catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. Hey, new Sharpness Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.